So what do we have for you guys tonight? We have some more shaving horse stuff going on, but before we get to the shaving horse, uh, had some tragic stuff happen today, guys, and it's not good, man. It's really not good at all. Uh, I lost my Husqvarna hat somewhere in the house. I think the baby got a hold of it. She either ate it or fed it to the dogs. I don't know, but I'm just a speck of pigeon excrement on the hood of your car or truck without that hat. I don't know how I'm going to function, but we're going to try. I mean, I'm just going to miss the smell of the grease on it. Maybe my wife burn it. I don't know. But I guess it is what it is. We'll have to find a way to carry on. So, what we are doing tonight, we're going to continue working on the shaving horse. We have some mortises to cut. I want to make the hinging mechanism for the, uh, for the top of the shaving horse. I'm going to show you guys what we're using for the whole project. Um, had to get out of that dingy, nasty-ass little shop because I couldn't even... I'm trying to film in there, and I'm like shoved up into there. I got a workbench right up my ass on one side. I got just everything looking to pile in and just try to take me out. So we're not... I couldn't work in there. So the weather's broken. It's dry out. We're going to work on this outside where we have some room to move. Like I said in the opening of the last video, I cannot wait to have this friggin' shop done so I can have a bigger shop. So, here we go, guys. Alright, guys, let's see how far we can get tonight. So, where we left off the last time was I kind of figured out where I wanted some of the stuff. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball center that. So, what I need to do, I have a few hinges I need to make. I've been wrestling around with ideas of how I want to make them. So what I thought I would do would be fun to try. I've never done it before, so we're going to try it out on this one. It could be total catastrophe. It could be monkeyed up, but we're going to try it and uh, see how it works. So what I want to do, I want to try uh, to make a kind of a short tenon to sit into a couple of shallow mortises but do a half dovetail on one end and wedge the other end and then shape it so it's kind of a kind of shape it so I can round it off come over the top then we could drive a pin around the outsides this right here was a little ill thought I should have done this different but we're gonna go with it we have it now I think we can make it look nice do all that good stuff with it so here we go and I'm also Tell me guys, tell me uh, what you guys think, but I'm going to try some different editing tonight on this one, guys. If you absolutely hate it, just let me know. Um, I'm trying to get better at making my videos. I'd like to try to make them flow a little bit more so you guys aren't sitting here watching paint dry all the time. I just, I worry about making them boring. I know there's, most of you guys are looking for the information, so I want to keep as much of that in there as possible, too. But we're going to try to make it flow a little bit better so they're not quite so ponderous because to be honest with you, I have trouble watching them sometimes. So I'm going to do a little something like this. I've got a little wiggle room here. I want to put a wedge, I want to cut this mortise a little longer than I need it so I have a spot for a key to drive in there to hold that half dovetail in. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. The things that I need to take into consideration when I do this, I don't want to come too far back this way with that mortise in either one because I need enough meat down here to hold that thing in. We're going to have an angled cut. We'll try to do it a 45 if I'm, we'll see if I'm good enough now. I haven't tried to do this before, so this could be a total failure, but at the same time, I like to try to challenge myself to keep getting better at this stuff. I love doing this stuff. I want to be very good at it. So in order to get good at it, you have to try new stuff out. You know, I tell my wife that all the time, but it doesn't really work out. 
So I just go to bed disappointed and lonely again. Anyhow, I digress. We're just going to get to the project. All right, so what we're gonna do now. Now I don't have to go, to be honest with you, I don't need a real heavy angle on this. All I want it to do, I just gotta recess it in a little bit, match the angle up to whatever the block, the hinge I make for it. Well, I just wanna get it in there enough so if I drive a, a short wedge in right there, it'll push it into that, it won't allow it to lift up. I see what we got guys, we'll do the best we can here, but it's kind of hard to tell, boy, it's kind of hard to see with a, it's a very, very shallow angle. We're going to see how it works, I mean, all I need it to do is just hold that thing from popping up and out of there. It's actually, this is an inch and a half deep, and probably about three quarters inch by the time I get to the bottom from the top here. Um, ooh, let's move the camera around, woo. So anyhow, we chopped that down there. Now, what I was worried about if I go with a steeper angle, the way the grain of wood sees how the, the grain is running this way on this piece of pine, of course you got a kind of a crap spot that goes down through here, or some grain swirl. This is, uh, this piece here is a lot of sap wood, that's why I didn't use it for anything else. I hate dealing with sap wood. It's strong wood, but it's also subject to bugs and it's subject to warping on you a little bit more, stuff like that. So, if I'd made that like a 45, especially so close to this end, I mean, we're only about three inches from the end there, that would probably tear out on me. And I run the risk of that a little bit here, but it's, a, it's really a short mortise, it's a narrow space, and it's a shallow angle. All I need is that just to to lock into what I'm putting in there. So we're going to keep going. We're going to router that out. We'll finish that one off and then uh, we'll get on to the rest of it.
We're going to see if we can get our angles down for these mortises, get these kind of cut to length, and see what we are left with. I think what I want to do, I want to run these all the way to the end. That is what I believe I would like to do. Handy dandy angle finder. Now what do you guys think? If I pull it good and hard on that, there's no wedge in this end, but I don't think that's going to go anywhere. Yeah, I like that. It's on there nice and tight, nice and flat. Make a little wedge or drive it in there. It should pop right. Oh, we got a little rocking. I'll just trim that down a little bit, but you get the idea. All right, guys. I hope uh, I hope you're getting the general sense of what we got going on here. What we're um, what we're trying to do with this top, the design. I know this has been a little piecemeal and extremely disorganized. Uh, to be quite honest with you, I can't work in that shop very well and it's really hard to make a video in there. It's actually extremely hard. That's why we're building this, you know. So someday if I ever finish this project we'll have a real nice uh, shop slash studio to shoot stuff out of. So, again we're making hinges for that next time we come back. Right now I'm just roughing everything out and trying to take you guys through every step of the way of roughing out. Filming when I can, you know, so that's why they're a little short. Uh, but it'll come together. I think I, uh, I think I drag out video series a little too long. I could probably spend a little less time talking, a little more time doing, and maybe condense it down a little bit more, but I am I try really hard to explain what I'm doing to you guys just so everybody has a sense of what's going on. But anyhow, thank you for watching. We'll catch you guys the next time when we come back. Uh, I'll have the other side finished. I should have this pinned and we're gonna start we're gonna start laying out the other end, the actual head of the uh, shaving horse and all that. I've got a piece of elm over here that we're going to use for the uh, for the riser, whatever you want to call it, that the uh, horse's head sits on, and we'll work on the treadle, hopefully in the next video. So, guys, have a good evening.